This is Chef Inspired. I am here today. I actually had to pull over because this thought came to my mind and I had to share this with you. It is so important that we understand the type of world that we're living in today and the type of things that are going on to, help, to hold people in place and to keep them powerless. Because if you are powerless and if you feel that you don't have the ability or the power to change things, then you won't do anything about it. You won't even ask why. You just say, that's just the way it is. And because that's just the way it is, I have to accept it like that. But in reality is, you don't have to accept it. You can change things. What I'm gonna talk about today is called transcending. Transcending. Let me say that again. Transcending. Ending the trance. And I'm gonna use five points to prove my point. Are you ready? Are you ready? Listen closely because this information could revolutionize not only your environment, your internal environment, but your external environment and move you in a direction where you will have breakthrough after breakthrough after breakthrough in your life. You ready? Here we go. Number one, there are two type of people that are in this world. One type of person is a thermostat and the other one is a thermometer. Now, what are the functions of these two type of people? Number one, the thermostat sets the temperature and the environment in the room. It keeps it to a comfortable state. He can choose the environment by setting it. This is a person, the best way to predict your future is to create your future and the thermostat person creates the future environment by setting the temperature and the atmosphere in the room. Number, the second person is the thermometer. Now the thermometer just goes along with the flow. He has no power to change anything. That person just is there and accepts whatever environment it is. If it's really, really cold, so what? That, I mean, I can't do anything to change it. If it's really, really hot, I can't do anything to change it. These are the two type of people, the thermostat and the thermometer. Which one are you? Point number two. We live in a world that is set up to hold people in a trance. You heard what I said. The world is set up to hold you in a trance-like state. Now, what is a trance? What is a trance? A trance is a state of mind that's induced by external environment or subliminal programming that causes you to not ask questions about your current state. Now you don't ask questions why I'm here or why this is happening or why is this the way it is? Why are, is this happening? You don't ask questions like that when you're in a trance. You just look forward, walk forward, and when the person in front of you take a step forward, you take a step. When the person in front of you take a step backward, you take a step. You are in a trance-like state. You are in a controllable state of mind. So a trance is a controlled state of mind. You are a, a thermometer. You are a thermometer when you're in a trance. You don't control anything. You don't control anything. You are just going with the flow. Point number three, what is transcending? Trans Ending. Transcending. What is that? Transcending is when you get to a point where you are no longer controlled by the environment. You become like a thermostat which sets your environment. It is so important that we act like thermostats. That we are creating an atmosphere in our mind so that we can kind of control the environment that we're in not to let the environment control us. Because when we do that, when we become the thermostat, we pretty much set our environment in the best way to predict our future is to create our future. And only people who are thermostats create their future.
Point number four. How do you train a circus ele elephant? When an elephant is small and weak, what they do is they take a three foot stake and they pound it into the ground with sledgehammers and then they tie a chain around the little baby elephant's leg. The baby elephant at that particular point has not the power to pull himself free from that stake that has been driven three feet down into the ground. And they leave that elephant there for weeks until he finally gets inside of his head, he becomes a thermometer and he comes to the point where he cannot change anything the situation that he's in is the way it is and there's nothing that he can do about it so he gives up trying to break free this animal grows up and becomes two tons and no matter what you what kind of stake even if it's driven six foot down in the ground and three chains are connected to it if he wanted to if he was not trained to adapt to his thermometer, I mean to his uh, therm to yes, to his thermometer's type of mentality, he would be able to easily pull his way out of anything. But in his mind, he has been conditioned. He has a trance-like state. His state of being is that it's no way that I can get out of this situation. It's no way that I can break free. So I might as well be satisfied in my environment. I'm trapped, I'm stuck, and I cannot break free. So I'm not even gonna try anymore. I'm just gonna go along with the flow. This is a trance-like state. This is a robotic type mindset. You have no power. This is a powerless mindset. But it is not the truth. It is a lie. It is a lie. It is a lie from the pit of hell. We are powerful beings that have the ability to transcend, to end the trance that we've been put into and to break free of anything that's holding our brains, that is holding our bodies in captivity. We can break free. We can be free. We can do things that there's no limit to what we can do. But we have been trained like the circus elephant to believe that the past is, will control our future. In, in all actuality, that's not the truth. That's not the truth. Point number five. A man cannot prosper beyond his ability to think. Let me say that one more time. A man cannot prosper beyond his ability to think. If he thinks he is a thermometer, he will always be a thermometer. If he thinks that he is a thermostat, he can pretty much predict his life and what's going on in his life in the way that he's going to prosper in his life. But if you are have the thermometer mentality which has been drilled into us a trance like state is using television is using video games is using all type of outside stimulus to create an atmosphere that has given us little shots of dopamine little shots of adrenaline making us feel like we're getting somewhere but in all actuality we just running around in a circle chasing our own tail getting that little boost of dopamine to make us think that we're going forward but we are actually going in a circle we need to transcend end the trance and the only way that we can do this is by taking a thermostat mentality setting rules for ourselves turning off the boob tube turning off anything that causes us to think negative we need to fill our mind with the information that's going to bring us to our dreams and our goals whatever you dream you need to fill your mind with that stuff and you need to get rid of that other stuff that holds you captive that tells you that you are weak that tells you that you cannot do something you need to get rid of it 
Because if you don't, if you don't fill your mind with your dreams and your direction that you want to go in, you will be stuck and you will always be stuck. You will continue to do the same things every single day and think that you're going to get a different result, which is the definition of insanity. We are in a trance like state. 80 to 90% of the people in, in, the, in, the, in the United States and throughout the world, they have set it up like that. But you don't have to stay there. You can transcend. You can transcend. You can become the thermostat in your own environment. Set your environment. This is Chef Inspire. I hope you get this because I am passionate about giving you information that will help you to transcend your current situation and to move you forward to be the best you that you can possibly be. And you can only do that if you turn off the distractions. If you stop being distracted, distracted and stop being subliminally programmed to be in that trance where you think that you're going forward, but you're actually going around in circles. This is Chef Inspire. I hope you get this. If you do, your life will be good. It will get better and better and better. When you start to fill your mind with the things that are moving you towards your dreams, your life will be beautiful. The trance will be ended. You will transcend. End the trance. You get it? You got it? Good. Have a blessed day.